Sleepers wake from stasis, the initiative urgently requires blood, tissue, and DNA donations. See a medic if you think you may be eligible. This is HNS. Writer, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What was it GN Garson said? The code word is Fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is a bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly, the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And then Seven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Though we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. <clears throat> Sam, transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. <clears throat> There's still hope for your mother. <clears throat> Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. This should never have been kept secret. Your father didn't want to raise false hopes. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder, to see the process through. Where's Mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. So this was Dad's plan? Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. 
Now we know what Gian Garson meant, that something big spooked the benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reaper's return was imminent. But why was Gian Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the Benefactor? Unknown. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. Got it. I need to go find Mom. There you are. What's going on? Well, here's the pod you told me to find. What's so important about Elizabeth Riley? I could have milked this a little, but... This is Mom. What? I saw Dad's last memory. He brought her. ER isn't Elizabeth Riley. It's Ellen Ryder. Oh my god. How is this possible? Apparently, putting her into stasis also put her disease on hold. Its progress has been halted. Alec put her in stasis after she fell unconscious in the hospital. This is amazing. Dad's stubborn streak finally paid off. I could hug him. And then scream at him. He should have told us about this. I said the same thing. But does it really matter? She's still with us. We have to wake her up. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. I guess you're right. We don't want to mess around with that. Your father understood this would take time. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive, and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. Waking her up will be fun. Surprise, Mom, you're still alive. Dad put you on ice. <laughs> and, uh, oh, almost forgot. You're in Andromeda now. An unusual way to greet your mother, 
but I will defer to you. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill, together. Hang in there, Mom. We missed you. <laughs>